Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. If it's not Friday, happy other day to you, I guess. Uh, we got some stuff going on, and this is this is going to be kind of our, our mid-month check-in uh, for April. It's close enough <laughs> to mid-month. I know we're like a couple days off from like the actual middle of April, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about some stuff anyway because there's a lot of stuff that's going on a lot of the things that happened in the Faye channel uh, Earlier in the week like things are now happening and so let's let's check some of them out So first and foremost if you haven't logged in today do it. You're gonna get 20 free orbs. It's very much worth um, There are uh, some events going on like Grand Conquest. This is now finally live I got lumped in with team Alphonse, which I'm not really sure how I feel about uh, I'll help out. Why not? <laughs> not entirely sure what I'm doing with this yet. I just know that winning is a good thing, and so I've been playing that. But, like, the rewards are actually really, really good. The rewards are really good. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but, like, if you bump up a tier, you automatically get three orbs. Uh, and then there's some refining stuff, and then some orbs, and then, you know, you keep getting these guys right here, which are, like... The, the swords for arena, but they're for this, and so I should probably bump up to tier 4 so that I can get another orb. I'll do that. I'll do that at some point. Not right now. Uh, but that's going on. Um, we've got some pretty strong banners going on. Of course, this is already live if you've seen the Thracia banner that, that we did. Uh, if you want your chance at either Tiki or Naoi, now, now is your chance. Uh, and of course... Robin's back. Fell Robin is back. Um, cooldown bonus is one is is really strong. Uh, four and fivers if you want to grab those. The hairs of the fair uh, spring banner is still still alive. So lots of lots of really strong banners. Honestly, um, it, there's just a lot happening. Blessed gardens. We've got like a day and a half until we get another wind map up. There's so much going on. Uh, we've got grand hero battles. More happening again. <laughs> so. Go do those, I guess. Um, they're all they're all free to do. There's no more stamina cost on on these, uh, which is pretty incredible. Same with Bound Hero Battles. There's there's no stamina cost, so go do those. <laughs> those are handy. I don't know how I feel about normal rival domains anymore. Uh, I, I'm I'm more interested in the uh, the new the new mode, the Grand Conquest instead, but. Um, there's, there's lots of fun stuff happening. There's lots of fun stuff happening right now. Uh, there's a story mode. We haven't finished that. Go do that. Uh, training tower seems like... <laughs> I don't even... What do we even use training tower for anymore? That's a great question. I don't know. It's like, I, I haven't even done my arena battles for the day. Like, I haven't done... There's so much to do, and it's becoming a little overwhelming. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> but that's alright. I'd rather have more than less. I'd rather have more than less. I'd, I'd rather there be too much to do... Instead of like not having enough to do where I just like like oh hey by the way I have to open up the map. Oh and look look Double SP it started because it's Friday Saturday not Saturday Sunday because Time zones. Uh, so yeah <clears throat> lots of stuff going on Let me see what our, our special is. Ooh, magic. Okay, so we can we can grind up some SP on that dope uh, But that's not all that we're here to talk about of course. We also had the uh, the schedule go live and rather than have that up let me let me pop up the big one that I have here so that we can all see it so what's coming down the pike that's a great question uh, there's there's a lot that's going on obviously right now but there's more coming up and right off the bat right at the top here you can see that Golden Week celebration is a thing it's a thing um, given given <laughs> Given the color coding that it was, I would assume that that means that we're going to be seeing some kind of event or special thing happening uh, in, in in those screens. Either in the event screen or the special map screen. Because uh, it's blue and all of that other stuff is blue like Tempest Trials uh, and, and, and things like that. So uh, I, don't, I don't know that we're getting like a login thing. Because those are typically yellow, you know. Um, but we're going to have something to do with Golden Week. Like we all kind of assumed that we would. Uh, and it's it's going to be a little over two weeks long, I think. Two and a half weeks long. Um, so Golden Week is now Golden 
20, <laughs> 20, 20 some days. Um, so there's there's Golden Week. We have Golden Week coming up. Grand Conquests. That is currently going on. That's what we've got going on right now. Uh, it, it seems fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm not I'm not disliking it by any means. Uh, the only thing that I, I kind of have a beef with is I'd like to choose whose army I go into. But I understand why they don't do that. Because <laughs> then you'd have a very uh, confounded voting gauntlet situation where probably nobody would go with Alphonse. Poor Alphonse. Um, but I can see him being the least popular among Sharina and, uh, you know, Anna. So, I get why they didn't. Um, so that's going on. That's the last until <clears throat> the 18th. Bound Hero Battle Revival, Takumi and Hinoka. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so we're, we're bound to get a banner for them. Uh, so if you haven't gotten Takumi or you haven't gotten Hinoka like me, uh, you'll get a chance to do that. Of course, you always get a free chance on any new banner that pops up, so that's really great. Um, but we're looking at 425 to the 1st of May on that. Uh, so that's coming up a little bit, two weeks or so from now. Um, we also have the Tempest Trials, Thunder's Fist, that of course is featuring our good friends from the World of Thracia banner. Um, 21st. That's coming up in, I think, a week or so. Uh, so we'll, see, we'll get to see that. Um, again, they've kind of revamped Tempest Trials. Everything is now Tempest Trials Plus. So it's it's closer to those Tempest Trials minis. And uh, the, the reward scaling is reflective of that. I think they only last 10 days now as per uh, the, the date scaling that we have on the uh, calendar there. And every character that is featured is going to be a 40% boost not just, you know, the 40-20 the, the split that we've been dealing with. Normally, the only the only new char the only characters that got the 40% buff were from the new banner that came out along with it. So now it's a little more free-to-play friendly, I guess. Uh, and then also the stamina cost for, I think, the first two times that you do it in that day is going to be less as well. So uh, there, there's, no, there's definitely no reason to not play it at least twice a day because <laughs> you already get the point boost and uh, the cheaper stamina cost for the first two games regardless. And they're a lot shorter, and the rewards are a lot more uh, frequent. Um, we're also going to be seeing a Legendary Hero Summon event uh, from May 1st to the 7th. So I feel like that's a little bit longer, if I'm not mistaken. I could be, but I feel like they were normally only four days long, but this one seems to be a couple days longer. Um, so maybe that's a thing, or maybe I just don't know how days work. One of those two, <laughs> one of those two things is real. Um, but we're also going to have another summoning event, a new hero summoning event on the 10th of May, and that's going to last until the 20th, so pretty standard there. We're getting new heroes then, so that's pretty cool. Um, but we're also getting new heroes from the 24th to the 9th of May, uh, so... <laughs> I, we're, ju we're just getting all kinds of new... That chunk from April 24th to May 20th is going to be kind of ridiculous, as you can see on the calendar there. Uh, we're getting uh, the Legendary Banner, we're getting two new summoning events, um, and then, you know, it, it's it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, summoning Focus with Heroes Combat Boost, that's the 22nd through the 3rd. Um, so, I mean, that's going to that's gonna be pretty intense more than likely countering weapon skills i feel like we've had that before but that banner is is happening either again or for the first time it's probably going to be pretty ridiculous um i feel like we've definitely had a countering i feel like we've definitely had a countering one before um so weapons <laughs> weapons that can counter or things that have distant counter or you know things like that that's what we're going to be seeing in there so it's always nice to to potentially pick up like some some close close counter, distant counter. Um, actually, I think it was Takumi, Hector, and Ike that were in the last one. I think I think they were in the last one. Um, so that's always got really, really, really strong units in it, and that's from May 4th to the 14th. Um, and then, of course, we have the summoning focus for the Tempest Trials Plus. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what that's supposed to, because it's also reflective of the banner that we have. So maybe more of the same, but possibly regular Olwen and Reinhardt will be included. I don't know what that's going to be, but I don't know. I'm not really super focused on that particular banner, 
I am much more focused on everything happening between, you know, <laughs> the, the, even, even the combat boosts, even that one, that one's probably going to be pretty ridiculous. So any of the banners coming up between the 22nd of April to the end of, uh, May 20th, like that, it's, it's so many orbs, dude. <laughs> so, so many orbs are going to be needed, man. Um, we've got a Grand Hero Battle, uh, that of course is going to be Sias. That's coming up on the 17th to the 24th, I skipped over that one, my apologies. Um, so we'll hit that, that should be Sias. I'm assuming that's Sias because that kind of fits in with the Tempest Trial thing, uh, that we're gonna be having, so... It should coincide with that. Uh, and then Illusory Dungeon will also be back. Formidable Foes, I don't really know what that means. But that's going to be happening from the 26th of April to the 11th of May. Illusory Dungeon uh, is fine. It's alright. I'm, I'm not really... I don't know. Like, If you've got multiple rewards for beating it on different um, difficulties or like modes, then maybe I would be more invested in Illusory Dungeon, but I just don't know. I just don't know how I feel about it otherwise, because it's like, I don't know, like, it, it doesn't, it doesn't benefit you to beat it at a harder mode or, like, to invest time, and, like, I, the last Illusory Dungeon I did, I, I didn't even use the music, which was probably a big mistake, because it probably had really good tracks, but, um, I did it without the music on the easiest mode, and I got all my rewards, and I was done. <laughs> Like, that's what it was. Uh, I do appreciate getting, like, daily badges and stuff from it. That's pretty cool. But, I don't know. I don't know. That, that's probably one of the weak... Like, I, I enjoy it, but it has a very, very, very low shelf life for me. Like, once, one, like two days in, I'm like, okay. It's cool. I'm done now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tempest Trials is honestly my favorite thing uh, that, that Heroes does. But, anyway... All right, so we covered all, all of that. Uh, we have a movement-type quest coming up on the 19th, and that'll last until the 2nd of uh, May. So that's pretty cool. Uh, three Heroes quests from May 7th to the 20th, so that kind of picks up after the movement quests. Uh, and then we also have Wind Blessing quests in between that, going on from April 28th to May 11th. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's always nice to get the blessings. I'm really glad they're doing those, actually. Um, I know a lot of people are probably like... Ugh, ugh. But, like, really? But, like, really, though? Like, they introduced game modes and stuff like that and incentives. Um, even with the the grand, the new the Grand Hero Battles to the second way, <laughs> the second reckoning of, of the, the new Grand Hero Battles. Um, those, those you get uh, rewards from defeating them with, like, all this blessing team. And so I'm, I'm glad that since they're incorporating a lot of that, uh, you also get the benefit of not having to summon <laughs> for that, because that would be an absolute nightmare. Um, so yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't don't do that, Ayas. Please don't do that. Uh, but so far they they've been pretty chill about it, which I'm I'm pretty pretty stoked about. Um, and then of course we have the Tempest Trials login bonus that's happening from the 18th to the 30th of April. We have a new Hero Celebration login bonus, which is dope. Uh, so that kind of coincides with the banner that's happening on the 24th. Uh, that's happening from the 24th to the 9th, same as the banner. And then we're getting a new Heroes Login Celebration from the 10th to the 20th of May to coincide with that summoning event as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll have a lot of things, like, if, if, even if you don't play hardcore like a lot of people do, uh, just log in. Just make sure you log in every day, get your free stuff, like, it's definitely worth it. Especially with all the stuff coming up. Right now, we're in, like, a two-week lull before we hit into a bunch of stuff that's about to happen. And I am terrified about what <laughs> what's going to be coming down the pike, man. Oh, man. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, there's, there's so much Need for Orbs right now. Like, I understand. I understand why they gave us 20 free orbs today. I really do. <laughs> I really do now that I'm like looking more at this um, and of course uh, we we got a hint about this on the fade channel I believe uh, that went live earlier uh, we're getting special orb promos every month now it looks like so April for example you can purchase orbs this is what these are this this orange box down here that's what these are uh, from the 12th of April to the 25th you can purchase orbs and this month you'll get 21 orbs at 999 plus 6,000 feathers. So part of me is like, I don't want to have to buy orbs, but the feathers are really nice. So 
So yeah, that's that's always a, a nice little little perk. Um, I don't know that the feathers are going to be a staple thing because if, if you look at if you look at your screen, I would pop back, but I have this up now. Um, if you look at your screen, it says April edition bonus, and then it lists the feathers. So I think that bonus thing is going to change uh, every month, or maybe it won't. But that's that's kind of what I'm assuming, just based on the wording from this. Um, and then of course you get the 21 orbs for 999, which is kind of, kind of a reduced cost. I think the, yeah, so you could, you could get 10 orbs for 599 or 23 orbs for 1299. Uh, so it's kind of in the middle. It's probably a good deal, I would assume, <laughs> but I mean, the feathers are, the feathers are honestly probably worth it. Um, the one thing I hope they don't do is start incentivizing buying the orbs like too extensively. Um, cause really like the, the orbs are pretty expensive. Like if you look at similar gacha games, like they're, it's, it's expensive. <laughs> it's, it's pretty expensive. Um, like, uh, what was it? A year or so ago, I was trying out like an SAO game that was, was just, you know, a constant tap thing, uh, where you like attack and like progress through stages. Um, and it was similar in the sense where you would like summon or call in like characters from the show or whatever. Uh, and the rates on that were a lot cheaper, like a lot, lot cheaper, <laughs> like a lot cheaper. Um, so, I mean, the orbs on here are really expensive. I hope they don't incentivize purchasing it too much because that would kind of bum me out because, you know, I know they're after my money. I just don't want them to be so obvious about it. Uh, anyway. Um, so that's kind of what our what our end of April, beginning of May looks like. Um, it's it's going to be pretty intense. Like I said, from the 22nd on, man, buckle up be, uh, because there is there is stuff going on constantly, literally constantly. Um, mainly focused around new heroes events, uh, the legendary banner, the golden week, like all of that is happening within that uh, three week period. So it's gonna get it's gonna get pretty pretty crazy. So, uh, like I said, buckle up, hard hats on. Um, but that's that. Let me know in the comments what you guys are most excited about, uh, because there is a lot <laughs> to be excited about. Um, and of course, thank you to all the subscribers who have helped us reach a uh, a, a, a staggering accomplishment of as many uh, subs on this channel as we have in the last couple months. Uh, ever since I started doing fake content, like everybody's been. Very supportive and flocking and subbing and commenting and thank you guys so much for that. If you haven't subscribed yet though, please consider doing so. It is free. It lets you know sometimes when videos go live, if YouTube will allow it or not. Uh, and of course, we are very, very, very close to that partner status again. So it would mean a lot to me if we could possibly get back up into that. Um, but hey, that's it. That's all I got. Let me know in the comments what you guys are most excited for. Again, thank you for watching. As always, I am Blue, and I will catch you next time.